Five changes to the pack who lost to Dallas last week, including Daquan Perry and Oli Khalifi in the front row. Mahanrai Nakaru returns and he gets the nod at lock. And former New York flanker Manate Akwe finds his way back into the MLR to join a fellow ex iron worker in the back row as Pungo Haini replaces the injured Rikat Hadding. And only two changes in the back line as the blow of losing US Eagle Tavite Lapetti is balanced out with the return of Australian Wallaby legend Tavita Kurandrani at outside center. And Ina Futi comes in to uh, right wing, moving Connor Mooningham to the left wing in place of Tony Pulu. Alan Clark right now just seeing what he has on his bench after you mentioned an injured record having lost for the season. One of a handful of players confirmed today will not be able to return this year. Let's take a look now at the starting 15 for the opposition from the East Coast. Four changes to the forward pack who took down Chicago on the road in round 11. Quentin Newcomer and try scoring machine Martin Vaca start at loose head prop and hooker respectively. William Whiteside is promoted to starting lock and the addition of Colin Gross at blindside flanker sees Jamison Fanana Schultz move to the back of the scrum. Four changes also to the back line, including the halfback combo of Buckley and Robertson, replacing McVie and Bowd. The versatile Will Talatina steps into inside center, while the promotion of John Rizzo onto the right wing shifts Perry Humphreys back to fullback. We'll be hearing the voices of Damian Schneider and Derek Summers throughout the evening. Take a look at our weather. It'll be in the mid 50s throughout this one. Great to have you with us. It's the lone meeting of the year between these Eastern and Western Conference sides. Herbst, five meters out. Cameron Orr surges, Orr spins, and he is down. Seattle, the first to cross the try line. Too much pressure from Seattle, knocking at the door. And not willing to go down easily, trying to chew up the meters here for Old Glory. Opportunity offload. Oh, Vaca has it poked loose, but Whiteside is there. A trio of big men getting them closer, trying to find the answer, and Old Glory is in. What a way to start the second half. That was impressive from the kickoff, spreading the ball. And Gali just holding on to it. Quick recycle. Fanana Schultz powering forward. He's really starting to find his groove in this game after some early mishaps. Then Gali recycling himself. Brilliant work from Vaca. Deflected, almost an intercept. But Whiteside just drives toward that try line. And that pass was precision perfect into space. Buckley knows it. What a team try that was. Multiple phases as well. And Seattle shell-shocked at the moment in the opening minute in this second half. Uh, it's still an opportunity here for the home side. Smith actually being dragged to the five-meter line by Old Glory. Not much room for Donald. The next phase is in. Oh, what a lunge. Seattle has its second try of the match. Plenty of time left in this match. And Palermo Roberts came on about a minute ago. Line out successful. Maul has formed. They've all Donald and company spinning towards the line, and Seattle's in for the third time tonight. And a little bit of breathing room for the first time. You'd have to say it was a mere formality at this stage for Seattle. Unable to add his weight to this defensive effort from D.C. Manate Akwe, the newcomer. Able to leave his mark. And that'll be a special one for Manate. Getting his start again. Looking for support. Hands it off to Gross. Trying to keep it in play, he does. They say play on, and Talatena will do exactly that. Talatena has Old Glory within a conversion of tying this match up. And they've done enough to take Old Glory over the sideline, but you cannot sleep on this team, Old Glory. Great work here from Talatena. And then Bowd shifting it to Gross, doing his best. Can we see? Wow. They're going to go to TMO. 
They've told Jason Robertson to hold off. This is probably your best angle, and if I was to speculate, which I'm about to, I never saw a DC foot in. He was definitely over the sideline in the air, but as long as that ball's going backwards, yeah, that you believe that ball's going to be a try. I so I think that was fine. It was just whether Colin Gross's any part of his body was out on the ground. It's a try. Wow. And Jason Robertson is going to have a chance to level us at 26 points. Walk this one off. If they could find a third try. Winter says that's enough. We'll take the four points. Seattle back in the win column. Through 12 weeks of play, nine wins to show for it, including another at the Fortress of Starfire.